Half a day and welcome everyone. This is a virtual resolution presentation this morning in honor of National Home Ownership Month. I'd like to welcome all of uh, my colleagues, uh, Senator Joseph Augustine, who is in the Committee on Housing for the Guam Legislature, our Majority Leader, Senator Nelson. And uh, I also like to welcome the officers, the president and officers of the Guam Association of Realtors, including uh, President Liz Duenas, CEO Peggy Yagas, and other board members, realtors and affiliates. I'd also like to welcome the executive director or acting director of GURA, Elizabeth Napoli. Thank you for joining us this morning. And all of you who are with us today to honor National Home Ownership Month. Gathered virtually to celebrate uh, our understanding and, and the efforts to promote home ownership. That means, and, and, and to not just for individual families, but really for the entire community. And committed to make home ownership an option for all. Home ownership is more than a surface. It is comfort and security. It is building a legacy of sustainability for your friends. It is and quality of life. And I believe that all of us here today want home ownership to be attainable for all residents of Guam. The Guam legislature in its current term has introduced and passed several measures that encourage and support the people of Guam in the endeavor of home ownership. For example, a bill introduced by those senators who are here today uh, encourages the construction of homes, validity of a building permit for a period of 12 months and granting extension of such period for cause. Another bill or another law, sorry, that exempts homeowner association memberships, dues and common area fees from the business privilege tax to encourage home ownership and upkeep of home communities. Another bill, that seeks to increase infrastructural revenue for Tomorrowland Trust Commission so that occupancy of their properties can be expedited and that those funds can be used to bring in sewer and other utilities so that these uh, lots can be expanded and reach more people. And in earlier terms, the senators here expanded for the first time home ownership and uh, income requirements. And in these times where the cost of living is exponential and we see more homeless individuals and families on the streets, the Guam legislature will continue to produce and pass similar measures to ensure that residents have the viable option to be homeowners. But of course, none of this could have been done without the collaboration of the Guam Association of Realtors with Gura and all of, all of those individual realtors who are working in this field and who are facing every single day the the governmental impediments to home ownership, um, e economic impediments to home ownership. And so I want to thank you sincerely for your assistance helping us to shape policies that are going to promote home ownership. So I commend you and um, we present to you this resolution number 386-36LS. And I'm gonna read just a clauses. So whereas according to the Guam, well, National Home Ownership Month was intended, it was a strategy to increase home ownership across the United States. And whereas according to the Guam Housing Study and Needs Assessment published by the Guam Housing and Urban Renewal Authority as of June, January, 2020, there were over 40,000, 45,000 households on Guam. The study found that a difference in growth rates between households and housing stock and increasing homeless population and the pending military buildup and relocation of thousands of Marines to Guam suggests that Guam will likely have a housing problem to support its growing population in the future. The study also found that there's an increased need for accessible housing units with supportive care services and facilities. And whereas with these findings and the cost of living increasing due to the years long COVID pandemic and recent international events, recognizing the significance of home ownership 
and solving the challenges associated with it are more important than ever. And it is crucial that organizations such as the Guam Association of Realtors and GURA and the government of Guam work together with one another and the community to ensure that home ownership is attainable for all. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Imina Trente Sais na Lehesetur in Guahan does hereby, on behalf of the people of Guam, recognize the exurbance of National Home Ownership Month during the month of June 2022 and commend the organizations on Guam whose purpose it is in achieving home ownership. And that we certify, attest to, and adopt this decision and to the Guam Association the Guam Housing and Urban Authority and to the honor the Ongaroi Magat Hagen. And so I commend you and thank you on behalf of all of us, but I do want to extend the floor to Senator Jose Joseph Augustine if he would like to also share some remarks. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And yes, uh, I'd like to thank uh, you know Gar, Guam Housing, Gura for the support and, and finding ways to uh, allow the people of Guam to get affordable homes. And the government of Guam for their participation in supporting this. But especially GAR, you know, GAR, GAR, you guys have done a great job and you've always focused on the people of Guam. And, and that's what I like. And, and, and I know we're, we're in communication with other ideas that we want to be able to uh, draft in a bill form and get it, uh, get it on the, or get it in a public hearing, get our, our uh, my colleagues here to support it. And I believe we'll, we'll get the support we need to get it passed. It's just a matter of time. Timing is the key, right? But you know what? Uh, we're going to do what we need to do. Uh, we got the speaker in support of taking care of uh, as many people as we can to, to uh, Guam land use. Was it the uh, Tomorrowland uh, Land Trust? And, and on every aspect of helping the people Guam. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Biba Guam, Guam homeowners. Thank you, Senator. Senator Nelson, if you would like to, Senator Nelson's the former chair of the Guam Legislature's Committee on Housing, so I'd like to extend the floor to her as well. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's nice to see all of my friends um, that are present today and really pushing forward to Guam home, home ownership for our locals. Um, we appreciate all the work that you do, um, the compassion that you have, especially with helping them uh, understand their finances and making their dream a reality. And it's huge. The work that you do is super, it's super amazing. <laughs> and it's such a huge endeavor. It's not easy and it's a lot of work and you sacrifice a lot of your personal time to do this. So thank you for working all day during the week, in the evenings, on the weekends. We are grateful to you and thank you for the amazing work that you do. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Senator Nelson. I'd like to um, invite the president, Liz Duenas, to also give remarks or to introduce those who are here as well on behalf of the Guam Association of Realtors. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, we've got our board members that are present, our um, uh, CEO of the Guam Association of Realtors, Peggy, our officers as part who are also in attendance, and our um, chairpersons for our different uh, various committees. But I want to thank you for all your efforts, uh, the senators. And uh, as you put it, yes, there are impediments <laughs> in terms of our housing crisis on Guam, rising costs. But I want to thank you for always having your door open, because as you do know, and especially Senator St. Augustine also knows that we're pretty vocal. And whenever we have issues, we want our voices heard. And again, Thank you for keeping your doors open and listening to the different issues, especially with the rising costs of construction, limited um, availability of affordable housing. And we do need help with the different issues that we have um, voiced our concerns about, especially with land, uh, restrictions on building on certain properties in the Northern area because of uh, the aquifer. And in light of our shortage, we should not short change the people in order of the availability of their, um, to, to build on their property. So again, thank you so much uh, for your efforts, all of you uh, in the legislature, but um, we come knocking and thank you for keeping your doors open. We truly appreciate that. 
Thank you, President Duenas. I appreciate your work as well, uh, very much so. Like I said, we could not do it without you. And uh, I'd like to recognize the presence of my colleague, Senator Sabina Perez. And before Senator Perez, I ask you to give a few remarks. I'm going to invite, uh, so Gura's acting director, uh, Elizabeth Napoli, if you would like to give some remarks. I want to thank you. Uh, we've included you in this resolution because we want to thank you for the statistics that you are keeping on Guam's housing and for your efforts as well to, to point out the issues and the and and to take to our um, the least in many occasions. Napoli. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, you know, Gora does continue to um, uh, work on its mission to provide the adequate housing uh, that the community needs and uh, planning for, and community planning for both uh, home ownership as well as affordable rentals. And so every avenue that we can um, uh, find resources to help in those efforts is what we continue to do. Uh, so thank you very much for including us on this presentation. Senator Perez, would you like to good morning? The other senators did so. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Madam Speaker. Yes, and absolutely. Uh, I am would like to definitely help with the um, some of those issues. Uh, having access to sewage and water on properties to help with the um, affordable housing. I think it's very important um, that we build up the supply on Guam um, to help with that, uh, alleviate the, the, the critical shortage that we're experiencing. Yeah, I think home having a home is really essential. And I think it's even a human right, in fact. Um, you know, to have a home is, is provide stability for many of our families and our children. Um, and that really impacts their, their ability to, to continue their education and to be productive citizens. So, you know, having a home is very critical. So definitely want to um, continue to support the efforts uh, of all those that are here um, to help uh, affordable housing become a reality for our residents. So do as Masi. Do as Masi. Who uh, joined us today. Thank you very much. And thank you for your work. And uh, thank you for allowing us to, to try our best to support you in, these, in this work. And thank you in this work as well. And uh, I think with uh, our continued commitment as we these months help us to renew our commitments and with that continued commitment that we can achieve this. And we know we are facing in this upcoming year and we have to respond with a uh, huge work. Masi to all of you and, to, and please be safe and, and take care. And that will conclude our resolution today. Thank you. Keep up, Guam homeowners. Uh -huh.